Hey guys, how you doing? Oh, I'm a bit tired. I've been carrying this heavy weight around with me all day. It's quite heavy. Oh, I'm glad to put it down now. So who can remember the memory verse of the week? That's right. The Lord commands us to be brave and strong and don't be afraid for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 9. So the important thing here is that it's a command. It's an order. It's something that God's telling us to do. And so therefore we have to listen. It's not like we can avoid it. It's something that God tells us we have to do. It's not a choice. And I don't know about you, but when I hear orders, when I hear people telling me to do things, I'm like, hmm, who are you, my mum? Okay, bossy McBofferson. Don't need to tell me what to do and get all bossy. But I guess, like, it's God, so we probably kind of have to listen. So, um, oh, sorry, this bag is causing me great pain today. I've been carrying it with me all day, and it's like, oh, I'm just going to put it down and let's go check what's in it. That's okay. Yeah, because it's causing me great pain, and I've been carrying it with me all day. So, this. Oh, no wonder. Fear. I've been carrying that all day. That's quite heavy. That's quite a heavy load to carry. What's this? Oh, worry. Mm, been carrying that too. Uh, what's this? Oh gosh. More fear. No wonder it's so difficult to walk today and be free and brave because I've been carrying all of that around with me. Mm, so I guess that's like really difficult to carry and I guess that carrying fear, no matter what it looks like, it weighs us down. And we can't carry on when we carry that. Of course, fear doesn't look like a rock and you don't carry it in a bag. Fear is like things that slow you down, things that just stop you from being brave and strong. And because they carry you, it's like a weight that you're carrying. And you might be afraid of um, not seeing your friends, afraid of things being different. Things are a little bit different now, aren't they? And you might be a little bit afraid of that. Um, so, and that's fine. But God commands us, remember, to be brave and strong and not be afraid. So we have to listen to it. It's like when our mums and dads and parents and carers and teachers tell us to do our work, um, make us have a wash, brush our teeth, eat healthy food. They give us all of those orders out of love. It's not because they want to be mean to us and they want to be bossy but bothersome. Um, but it's because they love us and God loves us and he knows what's best for us. He doesn't want us to carry rocks of fear that weigh us down and stop us from being brave and strong. So God wants us to do that. And that's why he commands us to do that. So how can we do that? How can we pay attention to God's command to be brave and strong? Well, we need to really listen to him, don't we? And, and be brave and strong. That when we're carrying these things of fear around with us, we're carrying these things that stop us. Well, also on that, um, the memory of us, if you remember, God says he will be with us wherever we go. So that means when we feel fear and we can't be brave and strong, there's one thing we can do. We can close our eyes and imagine that God's there because he is there. And Sally and Mark are going to do something on um, imagining that Jesus is there and, and, and drawing Jesus closer to us. But, but today there's something really simple that we can do. When we feel fear, we can just close our eyes and we can pray. So there's a simple way that um, I want to teach you how to pray if you don't already know. And it's called, uh, it starts with T-S-P. So it spells out teaspoon um, as an abbreviation. So with T-S-P is how we can pray. It's a simple way. So the first T stands for thank you. So we thank God for something that he's done. And we can thank God for his promise to always be there for us. Um, the next one is S stands for sorry. Um, so we can say sorry to God for anything at all. Anything that we feel like might make God sad, we can apologize for. And the third one, P stands for please. So we can lift up our prayers for God to take away that fear if we like, if we like. So what I'd like to do now is pray for you, if you are willing. So if you'd like to close your eyes, we can all pray together. So dear Lord Jesus, thank you for your promise to be with us wherever we go. 
sorry, Lord, that we want to do it our own way sometimes and we don't have complete trust in you. Please, would you take away this fear and worry that we are feeling now, feeling now and be with us wherever we go. Amen. So if you'd like any more prayers, please uh, send me a message, comment below and um, have fun. Be brave and be strong because God is with you wherever you go. And see you soon, guys. Love you lots. Take care. Bye.